What's going on YouTube? <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and apologize for my voice. I've been sick for the last probably week now. Still trying to get over it. So if my voice is all crackly and sound like a 12 year old, just sorry. I know it's been a long time since I've posted a video. Um, working full time, going to school full time. I, mean, I just don't have much time left over for anything else. But uh, what I have been working on in my free time is getting my first aid kit together. And the reason is because I've been mountain biking a whole lot more. So I'm going to do a couple of more videos on um, mountain, like my mountain bike, uh, EDC, like what I carry in my backpack, uh, things like that. But what I realized the first few trips out is that we take some pretty hard falls and there's not a whole lot of people around to, you know, do anything about it. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to get this kit completely squared away for when we go mountain biking just in case anybody took a hard fall you know we could get back to the vehicle and get back to them quickly <clears throat> um, and get them patched up so and we that may happen faster than EMS can get there I just for those of you who don't know um, myself and most of the guys that I work in we we all work in EMS and so we we know what we're doing when when we're going through this stuff and you're going to see a few things that you're not going to be able to have more than likely in your first aid kit where you live um, just based on certifications and skill level things like that um, but here we go so this is this is the pelican um, 1520 that i uh, was showing you on the last video of my first aid um, kit build or something i don't remember what i called it but after I started putting it together, I realized that that was not going to work. Um, I really disliked that case. It was too big, um, a lot of problems. So what I did do <clears throat> is here recently I went and purchased a new kit. This is the Pelican 1500 um, EMS. So it, it is designed for what, what it's being used for. <clears throat> um, it's a very nice kit. I don't know the dimensions. You can look all that stuff up online. Um, I bought this one off of Amazon. I think it was on sale for like 140 bucks or something. I don't remember. But uh, yeah, so this is this is the kit I'm using now. So we'll uh, pop it open and take a look and see what's inside. All right, you can all see in there. Sorry guys, I'm having to do this in my kitchen. All right, <clears throat> so we'll start at the top here. Um, there's multiple layers of these pockets. They go back. Um, there's a white or a clear protective covering on here first. And by the way, this all these dividers and everything. This all came with the case. And if you're gonna do this, I recommend doing that instead of doing it the way I was gonna do and just buy the kit and use the foam or purchase this separately it's much cheaper to buy this with the EMS kit um, so anyways got some Tylenol I've got uh, some Neosporin type stuff Advil um, this is Dermabond I've talked about this before it's similar to super glue um, bug bite stuff uh, natural ox I guess laxatives um, band-aids and foil. I know I've preached them on foil before but guys I highly recommend that stuff. Um, it has xylocaine in it and so those cuts and scrapes and stuff that you get you can put neosporin on it that's awesome when you get home but you know right when it happens and it's still hurt hurting really bad that stuff is awesome totally numbs it up bug bites mosquito bites cuts scrapes burns everything it's awesome stuff and it's super cheap I got like 15 tubes for 12 bucks off of Amazon Highly recommend. <clears throat> Probably gonna lose my voice after doing all this. Um, I haven't put anything really in here. I've got some scissors, um, some uh, tweezers, some hemostats, and a Fisher Space Pen, and then some extra stuff. I've got some Steri strips. These are the strips that you like if you go to the doctor and you have a laceration on your forehead, and um, they tape it back together. This is what they use, and these brown tubes in front of them are actually, um, this is called uh, benzoin tincture, um, and it's, you put that, you apply that to the skin first, and then you put the tape down, and it, it allows the tape to stick really, really well. Um, this is a face shield for CPR, 
Um, Hiva cleanse. This is kind of like dish soap. So if you had a, a, some road rash or something and you needed to clean it out, um, you could mix that with water and scrub on it a little bit. Or if you had a laceration, you can just stick your thumb in it. Um, whatever. Some burn gel and some moist towelettes. And that's all I've got in here. Like I said, guys, I'm not completely done, but this is as done as I need it to be for right now. Um, right in here on, the, on the, your left, I've got my quick clot, um, a SAM splint. If you're unfamiliar with these, these are awesome. Um, if you buy one, make sure you know how to use it. Um, make sure you know all the different splints, long arm, posterior, short leg, posterior, you know, ulnar, sugar tongue, blah, blah, blah. They're very easy to learn. Just know them because um, there's no point having it if you can't use it correctly. This is a cat. This is a combat application tourniquet. It would take a lot for me to use this, but I watched one of my buddies take a hard fall the other day and he almost, uh, a, uh, somebody had cut a tree, a small tree down, uh, and it wasn't very big. It's probably the, size, the, uh, the trunk was about the size of my thumb, but it was about six inches tall and it barely missed his leg. So, I mean, if that had punctured his leg and caught his femoral artery, we'd have been screwed. Um, so I keep one of those in here, and I also keep one in my uh, bicycle um, bag. Um, these are all um, gauze pads. I've got some Tegaderm, um, some Telfa pads. Telfa pads are um, non-adherent dressings, so you'd apply that first and then apply the gauze, because once your blood dries and you have to rip the gauze off, What'd you just do? You just ripped off the clot. One, so it's going to start bleeding, and two, it's going to hurt like hell. Um, so apply the, the telfa, bat, telfa pad, not here pad. Um, some Tegaderm. Um, we've got some Zero Form. It's good for uh, burns and stuff like that. Um, got a triangular bandage, a couple of things of gloves, some light sticks, hydrogen peroxide, some. Um, Sodium chloride irrigation solution, shears, flashlight. Um, I've got some finger SAM splints. I've never used these before, but I figured I could have fun with them. And then I have all kinds of tape. I have Coban, which is on your left, um, silk tape in the center, and then your regular medical tape, breathable medical tape. Um, I have three ACE wraps, two three inch and one two inch. Uh, an IV starter kit and a bag of 500 saline. Um, this part you probably will be, up, you can up, obtain it. I highly recommend that you don't though. If you have no idea what you're doing, you don't need to be starting an IV. Um, I think I've seen some websites where you can buy that without, you know, needing any proof that you're certified. Um, but, you know, if you do buy it, please be cautious and only have somebody who's certified, a nurse, a paramedic, Heck, even an EMTB is better than your lay person, so um, just please, guys, be cautious with that. So yeah, so this is this is my basic uh, setup. I still have some other things I'm going to add, um, but this is this is what I was hoping it would look like, and it it looks great. Um, it's perfect; fits right in the back of my car. I love the Pelican case. I got the Coyote tan, so it looks pretty awesome. Um, Hey guys, uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know. I appreciate you taking the time out to watch this, and uh, see you in the next one.